Shalom brothers and sisters, Israel news again. Keep our eyes on Israel as we follow the goalposts and get to the end. Israel is the clock. The UNHRC, <clears throat> United Nations Human Rights Commission, approved four anti-Israel resolutions calling also for limited arms embargo on Israel. The United Nations Human Rights Council approved four anti-Israel and pro-Palestinian resolutions including a call for a limited arms embargo against the Jewish state as it wrapped up its 49th session. Israel was the only country that the UNHRC censured multiple times. Russia, which is a UNHRC member, was censured only once for its invasion of Ukraine. Once. With a resolution that passed 32 to 2 with 13 abstentions. Other countries, North Korea, Iran, Belarus, Myanmar, Nicaragua and Syria were taken to task for human rights abuses, one resolution per country. Israel is not a voting member of the UNHRC but spoke multiple times about UNHRC bias during the voting process on Friday and Thursday. When it comes to Israel, Ambassador Meiraf Elon Shahar said, the council was an echo chamber of fantasy and hatred against Israel. The problem with this echo chamber is that no reality comes in, but the hatred seeps out, she said. Out of the four resolution texts, the accountability resolution which spoke of the arms embargo is considered to be the most contentious. It was approved by the UNHRC in a 37 to 3 vote with 7 abstentions. The three countries that stood with Israel were Brazil, Malawi and the United States which rejoined the Council as a voting member this year. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Michelle Taylor said that the Biden administration was disappointed that the UNHRC member states continue to disproportionately single out Israel and are dismayed by the many repetitive and one-sided resolutions that run year for year. The countries that abstained from the vote were Cameroon, Honduras, India, Marshall Islands, Nepal, Ukraine and the United Kingdom. All the European countries on the Council supported the text, including France and Germany. Go Germany! The Palestinian ambassador to the UN in Geneva, Ibrahim Kreishi, said that it was important to hold Israel accountable for its actions against his people. The other three resolutions were voted on under Agenda Item 7. The UNHRC is mandated to debate alleged Israeli human rights violations at each session. No such requirement is leveled against any other of the UN's 193 member states. Are you seeing the disproportion here? Of the three Agenda 7 resolutions, the one condemning Israeli settlement activity and calling for a boycott of settlement products and an Israeli withdrawal to pre-1967 lines, was approved 38 to 4 with five abstentions. Those who stood with Israel, Malawi, Marshall Islands, United Kingdom and the United States. Those who abstained, Brazil, Cameroon, Honduras, Lithuania and Ukraine. Last year, the same text passed 36 to 3 with 8 abstentions. Taylor said that the continued existence of this agenda item calls into question the credibility of this body. None of the world's worst human rights violators, some of whom are subjects of resolutions at this session have their own standalone agenda item at this council. Only Israel receives such treatment. This is also foretold in biblical prophecy. Jerusalem will become a stone of contention. The nations will become more and more anti-Semitic as we approach the end times. And here you can clearly see in the United Nations how they're singling out Israel. I mean, it's, it's obvious. Even if people say, right, but you're pro-Israel. Yes, I am. Read the facts for yourself. Iran, one. Russia, one. The whole world's busy freaking out about Ukraine. They get one. How many did Israel get? Israel, four. All of them passed unanimously. Why are they such a focus? Because it is supposed to be like that. And it's going to get worse as we move forward. And I'm going to tell you what the Bible says. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Blessed are those who bless you and cursed are those who curse you. They should go read this list of who was for and who was against and then apply those verses as well.
We'll keep watching here on this channel and we'll keep looking up and more and more news is coming out of Israel. Stay strong. Keep praying. Shalom.